Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, please consider subscribing. Today I'm going to show how I attach most of the blocks, the closed art blocks and normal blocks and eye bolts to the masts, the bowsprit, the, the yards. This is the knot that I use on most of the situations or some variation of this. I grab a bit of rope, I bend it in three so each side has a loop and a hand now i clamp it with an hemostat and i put the hemostat on the helping hands so that i can work it i grab thinner rope than the one I'm using to secure the blocks. I cut a bit of it. I make a loop. I hold it. I place it on top of the previous rope. I hold it with my right hand. And I go around it with one of the ends. Five, six, seven times sometimes always going towards the right. Now with my left hand, I hold the turns in place, I th thread the end through the loop, through the loop of the thinner rope, not through the loops of the, the thicker rope that is underneath. You pull it, you might need to pull on the other end to make it tight. and the knot is secured. Now we have this, uh, this knot will run. One end will have the, the block, in this case the closed art block and the other end we'll, we'll see after. Now, if you hold the turns in the middle and you pull the end, it will close the loop on the opposite side and it clo will close around the art. This is done better if you hold the block somewhere it's too thick for the aerostat, so I'm going to put it on the helping ends. And now, as you can see, it's easy to pull the loop around the block, holding the knot in the middle and pulling it on the opposite end until you have it in place.
Now I repeat the process for the second block. This time it will be a bit more sped up, but it's exactly the same. Now I'm going to put the rope the same way I did it on the previous two videos around the bow split but at the middle I will stop now I thread the other end of the loops that have the, the closed art blocks And I continue, same way that it was done on the previous loops, just ignoring, ignoring the, the loops with the closed art blocks. We close this knot, make sure that everything is tight, make sure that everything is on its place. And now I slide the loops that have the blocks to their position, one is on top, the other is on the bottom. And now I close these loops, same thing, grab the knot, Pull the opposite end and it will run through. Now I put some glue on all these ends and they will be ready to trim.
third block it's the same process but it will go on a simple loop to the bow sprit no, it will not be attached to another rope so same process as usual And now I can thread the loop through the mast, take it to the correct spot and tie the loop there directly on the bowsprit. Now I'm already tying the last two blocks. They were done the same way as the first two blocks. They are threaded through rope. I'm just tying it down and clipping all the ends. Now I'm going to do similar process, but it will be a block attached to an eye vault with a rope coming out of it. I thread the eye vault through the, the rope. I hold it, I bend it in three and I hold it, same process as it was done previously. Clamp it to the hemostat and do that knot that I showed at the beginning of the video.
Now I know that this gets a bit confusing from now on because the lines are quite thin even though they are not all the same thickness it's hard to follow but now I clo just close the loop around the, the eye bolt and I will have a line coming out of this block so before I put the block I will attach the line to this loop uh, in future videos I will show different ways of doing this of putting this line after the block is already in place it's probably easier but at this point I was doing it like this so I grab the thinnest line I have this is 0.1 I do a double loop with it So you basically have a knot ready to be tied. I put the 0.25 line through it, through the, the loop that will have the block, through the knot again, and then I can tie, I tie the knot to tie these two ends of the 0.25 line together. Now the 0.25 line can be tied, the knot, the 0.10 knot allows the 0.25 line to run until it's tied around the loop that will load the block. same way it was done with the other blocks now I, this is a double block I need to close the loop around it Now I'm simply pulling the rope that comes out of the block to the correct spot, to the end of the block. And now it's just about gluing all these ends and trimming them.
I drilled the hole for the eye bolt and I glue it in place. And that's it for today, here are a few pictures of how it looks at this stage, I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe, I hope to see you all on the next one.